All right, hi, my name is Hannah Johnson and I'm a senior at Lincoln Southeast High School. Ignite! And this is called high functioning. High functioning anxiety. The name does not sound scary out loud, it sounds manageable. Like an airbag to fall back on at the end of a conversation that may never end. I've learned that a high functioning disorder sometimes has nothing to do with functioning at all. I know this because I woke up one morning last week and felt unable to function altogether. Despite my disorder being heavily present, just a headache, I told my mom. It made me feel bad that the type of headache I said I had could be fixed with an Advil, but the one that was stirring could not. What I tried to explain is that my disorder has become a tumor and it's making everything hurt except for my head. Nowadays, it's becoming easier to explain a physical ailment, ailment more than an invisible one. I said that my headache was only an inconvenience and that it would be gone tomorrow, but saying this made it worse. It made the tumor mad and it started to swell. I could feel it get comfy in the rocking chair it had spent years building in the back of my mind, but years have built up till lately, where I've been associating everyday behaviors with my disorder that quite possibly have nothing to do with it at all. For example, when I drive in the rain, my windshield wipers wave to the other cars and the other, ca and the other cars wave back. I link this to my introvert and how I always have to be the first to wave, though I don't often get waves returned. I had started to get chest pains and think I was having an asthma attack, but then I would realize it's actually a heart attack and then my heart attack turns into a panic attack and I have anxiety about my anxiety. I come from the rare breed of people who think anything and everything is wrong with them all of the time, but I call it my superpower. My therapist calls it somatic symptom disorder, also known, be, known as being a hypochondriac. This constant worry that minor or invisible symptoms are potentially threatening my life, like every breath I take isn't big enough or every heartbeat isn't strong enough, it hides tucked in the pockets of my regular anxiety. And until recently, I hadn't realized the two were any different. On one hand, I have, oh God, this stomach ache is probably malaria. And on the other, I am holding, how embarrassing would it be for me to die from malaria in the middle of Nebraska? Perhaps it's, what's make me, perhaps it's what makes me proactive. Or maybe it's what keeps me high functioning in everyday life. I get anxious about others and what others think of me. And I think that just by thinking about them, I am bothering them even when I am alone. Sometimes I can see the bright red stop sign screaming at me to just stop talking and others. I like the attention so much that I forget I'm speaking out loud at all. The words find themselves snowballing off of my tongue with no regard to my conscience. A horrific avalanche of judgment and disinterest is in the forecast. I have no way of stopping myself. I have found that my disorder might be the most orderly functioning thing about me. And yet, where does that leave me?